parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular lines. Hello there students, welcome to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to describe and draw parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular lines. Let's start! Let's take a look at this drawing. Can you guess what it is? Wow, it is a house! Now, what kinds of lines do you see? Oh, wait, what is a line? A line is a set of all points between and beyond two points. Let's say we have point A and point B. If we connect the two points, it will create a line. A line is a one-dimensional figure that is infinite in length, has no thickness, and extends endlessly in both directions. Lines can be named using two points on the line. Since this line has point A and point B, it can be called as line AB. A line that goes from top to bottom is called vertical line. This means that line DE is a vertical line. A line that goes from right to left is a horizontal line. This means that line XY is horizontal. Well, this kind of line is a diagonal line. This means that line NS is diagonal. These are only few of the many kinds of line. There are other kinds of line that are also called as pairs of lines. What are those? Let's find out. First, we have parallel lines. These are the lines that do not intersect or cross each other even when extended in either direction. Parallel lines can be a pair of vertical lines, a pair of horizontal lines, or a pair of diagonal lines, as long as they don't intersect or cross toward each other. So here, we can say that lines MK and line SB are parallel. Same with line LO and line GH, they are parallel. And line JF and PW are parallel. Let's go back to our drawing. Can you see more parallel lines? Now let's go to the next one. Next pair of line is what we call intersecting lines. Unlike parallel line, these lines meet or intersect at a certain point even when extended. Here in another example, we can see that line QD and line ER cross each other at a certain point. It means that they are a pair of intersecting lines. A point where lines meet is called point of intersection. For example here, point B is the point of intersection. Now let's go back to our drawing. Can you see more intersecting lines? <coughs> Lastly, we have perpendicular lines. Same as intersecting lines, perpendicular lines are lines that intersect, but the only difference is that they form a right angle as they cross each other. Usually, lines that intersect and form a right angle is a pair of a vertical and horizontal line. Let's say we have vertical line GH, which is intersected by horizontal line SB. If two intersecting lines form a right angle like this, therefore, lines GH and SB is a pair of perpendicular lines. Now, can you see more perpendicular lines in this drawing?
Wonderful! Now let's try this activity. Can you give a pair of parallel lines from the line shown? Here we can see that line CD and EF are parallel lines since they don't intersect or cross each other. Next one. Can you give pairs of intersecting lines? Here we can see that lines GH and CD are intersecting lines. Also, lines GH and EF intersect each other. So they are intersecting lines. Last one. Can you give pairs of perpendicular lines? We can see that lines AB and CD intersect each other and form a right angle. It means that they are perpendicular lines. Also, lines AB and EF form a right angle as they intersect. Therefore, they are also perpendicular lines. Wonderful! What a great lesson, students! Now, here are the things that you learned today.